This is a really important detail on how I get underneath the chin when I'm attacking from the back. Whether it's the rear naked or the bow and arrow, the key is almost always getting underneath the chin. Or bow and arrow, okay? A lot of times when I start to dig for the neck, I use my thumb and I trace his jawline. See how I'm already underneath with my thumb? Mm -hmm. right? Now from here, if I want to get his chin up, right? I just do this. I just turn my hand. And when I turn my hand, ah, you see how I'm underneath? All I look to do is get underneath his jawbone. Right? And then I start to turn my hand. Okay. So that's really important. That's an important skill to understand how to dig underneath. See, I'm already underneath his jawline. So that's really important. We start a little bit further back, just underneath the ear is where the jawline starts. So make sure you get your thumb underneath there because once you're underneath the jawline, you're basically underneath the chin. All you have to do is follow it all the way around. And the key to getting his chin up is just turning my wrist. So watch again. <laughs> So I never, I never reach around when I'm going for a rear naked or bone arrow. I don't do this. I don't start the attack from here. I start it from here. If you notice, I wedge my thumb right underneath his jaw. And then all I do is just follow the jawline. I just trace the jawline and that gets me underneath his chin. Right? It comes in and see how I'm already underneath. So my hand, I touch his face and then I start to trace the jawline. So that's the secret to getting underneath the chin when you're attacking from the back.